DHH argues in this post that the complexities in modern web services come from the need for a single system to accommodate serving a multitude of users. He suggests that with the current advancements in computing power, many organizations could effectively utilize a per tenant model, where each system serves one user to simplify data storage and access. But what if we could take that further? I was pretty skeptical at first, even before I joined the team at Terso that are working with SQLite and that SQLite on a per tenant basis could ever be a thing. But after seeing a rise in SQLite usage, I want to see how practical it would be to set up SQLite on a per tenant basis in my own app to really make up my mind. A while back, I built an application that was using Clerk and it had a database for all of my users, a classic multi-tenancy approach. Intrigued by what some are dubbing as a paradigm shift, I wanted to see how easy it would be to refactor my code to support a different model, a database per user. What? It does sound pretty scary. I'm not gonna lie. You're goddamn right. My single shared database contains tables that have a user ID column that I can use to reference rows for specific users. This means that every SQL statement contains a where to scope data to the logged in user. It's pretty standard stuff, I don't need to tell you that. But if I was going to pull this off from migrating a single database to a per user database, I needed to drop column user ID and create some kind of database that could be used as a template. I've had my fair share of fixing bugs caused by a missing where statement. So it felt pretty good to be able to remove it, even if it was scary. Transitioning to a per user database model with SQLite was simpler than I expected. Thankfully, the Terso platform allows you to see databases from other databases. So it certainly felt like I was heading in the right direction because all I needed to do because my application was using Clerk was add a new webhook that was triggered when new users signed up to create that database. Transitioning to a per database model with SQLite was simpler than I expected. As I dive deeper into the app migration, I couldn't help but think it wasn't gonna be all rainbows and butterflies. What's the deal with migrations across all of these different databases and playing Peep and Tom to user analytics and not to mention audit logs? It's super important that I apply schema changes that play nicely with everyone's database. And let's not forget, when it's showtime for my startup's funding round, I need the juicy gossip on how many to-dos my users are popping out. SQLite boasts a pretty cool feature that is attached, which allows you to connect to multiple databases simultaneously within a single session. Could this be the answer? Let me know in the comments if you've done this before. I'd love to hear about your experience. But using attach means I get to keep my users' data isolated, query simpler, and have the ability to perform reports across all my user databases. But it does make migrations a little bit more complicated because it's not something I've done before. DHH tossed a pretty neat idea into the ring, but going a step further to give each user their own database could actually be my new routine. Maybe, just maybe, I guess we'll see.